Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Stan with tonight's Deep Dive. It is September 18, 2018. I'm going to take a quick look at uh, soybeans today, uh, the ETF being SOYB. Now, anybody that's been trading soybeans or tracking this market knows quite well that it's been in a downturn uh, for quite some time, a bearish phase here. And uh, with the breakdown of some key support levels here as well, uh, it, it's a little surprising that we still have a positive on the, the technical rating, and so I do believe that that's going to start to adjust here fairly soon. Now, it's not all bad. We're not severely oversold yet, and so I suppose that there's an opportunity that the market uh, can base here. But uh, what we're basically seeing is just great difficulty for the the market as a whole to really hold any support levels. This is a weekly bar here for soybeans, and you can see that... Uh, with this bar right here, this is this week, and we broke below, it's not super strong, but you know, nonetheless, we broke through some uh, support to the market on a weekly bar basis. It's even more pronounced if we look at daily bars, that's what these are. This is the major support, a 41, which is very, very strong for the support level that we always have here. And uh, with yesterday's action, we're touching it and with today's action we broke below that now we're not uh, in oversold territory yet uh, we're not in a super tight consolidation meaning this green line would have to be below the yellow line for a tight consolidation uh, so that kind of tells me that the the trend is just going to continue unfortunately for uh, those that are long or those that are farmers uh, and so just watch this market very carefully with uh, the breakdown of this uh, uh, support level that we're we're dealing Dealing with right now. Now, if we come back to the website, there has been, but I think they've been false signals, uh, certain things that have been popping up here. Uh, one of which happened yesterday where we had a doubt low and that's a profit taking and that's always early on in the phases just trying to take some uh, some profits while you're able uh, but with the breakdown today uh, I think that this is going to turn out uh, um, uh, obviously it's premature now it could reverse course here but uh, this one is I think a little bit early it's even more pronounced if we pull up the the weekly deep dive uh, and the pro alerts for, for soybeans uh, where we have in the past four weeks ago that's what these represent potential reversals that's when the market in itself was finding uh, itself sitting on that support level and it was forecasting the market was going to base and start to head higher so I think that some of the uh, the deep dive alerts here uh, where they're, whether they're the reversals on the weeklies or that deep dive that we just looked at uh, on the uh, the daily bar date basis, I think that they're just a little bit premature and that this trend uh, with tariff-oriented type things is just going to continue, unfortunately. So uh, for the time being, our systems are still short soybeans, uh, and they've been short for quite some time. This one got in on the, the uh, 824. Another one got in on 68 of this year. And so they still have uh, just the two systems, uh, nothing dramatic, one's a weekly and one's a, a daily bar. They're just continuing to, to stay short the, the market. So we'll see what uh, takes place here. Uh, one's a trend-based, one's a swing-based. And so with that being the case, uh, I just don't see any any reversal uh, coming soon, uh, at least not as of yet. And because we broke through that uh, support level, it's something that uh, you just simply have to ride the wave as long as you possibly can, especially on the uh, the short side. The, uh, the strange thing is, and I know this is kind of uh, off the beaten path here, but we do a futures market madness. And what we do is the uh, orange represents the previous month. And what we do is we rank the different markets and we have them compete to, uh, against one another. And so I just want to show soybeans uh, was down substantially last month. And so it was up against the Russell. It was barely up for the one week that it went up against, uh, but it was able to beat the Russell. Then it went up against zinc. Zinc was down even further. So even though soybeans was down, it was able to beat uh, that particular market, zinc. 
Now we have uh, coffee versus soybeans, and they are both down a fair amount today. With the S uh, soybeans down one uh, a little over one percent, and uh, coffee down uh, one and a quarter percent on the day. So I think this is going to stay uh, true here when we update this evening. So we're still looking at soybeans in the final four, uh, even though it has not had good performance. It's just that the other markets have performed even worse. And so uh, that being the case, it's just an unusual. Can scenario here with soybeans having sold off as much as it has uh, during the course of this month, you know, sideways to down, uh, that uh, it just hasn't really done anything. And with the, the breakdown of this major support level right through here, and I'll quote you that what that number is, uh, 829 and, a, and, a, and an eighth, uh, or a quarter, I should say, uh, 829 and a quarter, that's where that level is. And so the fact that we've broken below that, uh, that's reason for concern and perhaps a continuation uh, for, for the trend to the downside. We're obviously going to continue to watch this market, but from our perspective, um, you know, having been short the market, uh, we'll see how far it's actually able to go. And we're going to be looking for substantial support for this thing to actually uh, have an about face here otherwise that trend's really going to continue the last thing i'm going to point out here is um we put out a lot of information i realize that and we're always trying to keep people up to date so what we have i'll just uh, show this to you is uh, that if you come to our site you come to uh, membership levels and you come down to video blog sign up and this video blog will have a little more information you can give us your information and then you can be selective on what you want you want everything we put out just information related to the blog, all blogs, anything we put out, or you can look at our blog and you can say, I just want certain types of uh, sectors. Uh, if you want our Signal Insights, which is a weekly video we put out, it's more an educational type thing, you can select any of these things. So you can select multiple things, plus uh, you can guess, uh, look for uh, webinars we put out as well. We're doing a webinar tomorrow as an example. So if you're interested, uh, you can just simply sign up and then tell us what you do or do not want. And in that that being the case, uh, you could uh, uh, make sure that we're getting you the information you're interested in and, and not having to, to endure uh, receiving information for us for markets that you have no interest in whatsoever. And so we're really good about this and that's why we've set this up so that you can uh, receive the information that you're interested in and not receive what you're not interested in. So that being the case, you know, uh, do, uh, do uh, fill that out if you're interested in information. Uh, watch the soybeans, which are obviously are still short. and. Uh, if you're able to attend our webinar tomorrow at 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, 10.30 in the morning Eastern Standard Time, I would look forward to having you there. We're going to be talking about soybeans, and we're going to be talking about a lot of different markets related to uh, some basic seasonal charts. So with that, I appreciate it, and we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.